So you ended up in a few different roles right away after school. What were those experiences and what did you take away from them? That's a great question. So, um, yeah, so there were three, for, three, um, three firms and, and I will say I was pretty driven and rigorous at that point. So I'd kind of made a plan that said, I'm going to work in three different places in two year increments. Um, to kind of get a poo-poo platter of what the industry is like. And, mm. uh, and, and anywhere, anytime I went anywhere, I would take my portfolio and I'd go to firms and I'd show up and everything. So I was, I was pretty driven by all that. So the first, the first one was a, was a multidisciplinary engineering firm in Vermont. And, um, it wasn't like I <clears throat> totally wanted to be there, but in 1980, there wasn't a lot going on in the world in terms of new jobs. And, uh, for whatever reason, again, one of these serendipitous things, um, that firm and the University of Idaho had a very strong pipeline and they always hired one or two landscape architects to, to move to Vermont and work there. So, huh. I was, so I was the one they hired. And, uh, and the last thing I wanted to do was go back to the Northeast. You know, I was determined to stay in the Pacific. Right. Stay away from home. Yeah. Yeah. But after a couple of months of not having and being driven and all that kind of stuff, it's like, okay, this is the opportunity. So there were, so there were two things that came out of that, that were really actually were really foundational. And one was, I worked for, uh, there was a guy who ran the department who was an extremely talented marketer and kind of a brilliant design thinker. And so all of my training to that date had been pretty um, technical. So I was pretty good on the technical documents and I could produce and organize and all that kind of stuff, but I hadn't had exposure to the kind of conceptual thought. So I picked that up by osmosis from him. <clears throat> and because he was such a brilliant marketer, we got to do amazing projects. I mean, for this mm. little firm in a Butler building in the middle of nowhere in Vermont, we were working all over the New England and doing really cool urban design projects. So I learned a lot about that. And because it was multidisciplinary, when I had an engineering, electrical, structural, civil question, I could just go down the hall and ask somebody. And mm -hmm. I was young enough and they were nice enough that they would kind of tutor me. So got a, got a really good grounding in that. And then, as I mentioned, I... Um, uh, whenever I went in where I took my portfolio. So I went, so one Mardi Gras, I went to New Orleans and uh, after two years in Vermont, I, I, and I still remember this. I started going around to the three landscape architecture firms that were really were fairly established in New Orleans or known uh, the Friday before Mardi Gras and just showed up and said, Hey, you know, I'm nice. in town. I'd like to <laughs> and, and after living there now for five years, I realized how audacious and stupid that was, but I thought, well, why, why won't they talk to me? So anyway, so I did get an interview with this one firm, a Kaplinger group. And, um, you know, a month later I got an offer and, and I said, I don't care what they pay me. I'm going to move to New Orleans because it was so much fun. And it was a, it was a really big uh, design firm. We probably had 300 people incredible talent. We we're working on the world's fair. We we're working on a lot of projects and the owner, although he was an architect, he, um, <coughs> excuse me, he, uh, really fancied himself as a developer. So he would do a number of development projects. We would do the design work associated with it. So I started to get associated with that kind of, you know, mm. thinking design, but also the practicalities and the power, I think of being a developer, being your own client. Um, the other thing I got from that is they went bankrupt because the World's Fair did not succeed. They didn't get paid. So everything cascaded down. So the other lesson I learned there was like how not to run a design firm yeah. and pay really strict attention to cash flow and things like that.